Hi again, it's Julie with Damsel on Defense, and I wanted to talk to you about staging your protection. Not only is it important to stage your protection at home, but it's important to stage your protection when you're on the go, which is in your car, right? So parking lots and parking garages are the top two places that women are attacked. So it's important that we are prepared. So what I wanted to start out showing you was just my safety system. These are both on my key ring. When, um, so it starts before I even get in the car. I have pepper spray and I have a Kubaton on me at all times. I usually have them on a breakaway, but because I did another video right before this, I wasn't actually prepared to do this video fully. So I am doing you a disservice. I will put a picture in the comments of how I usually carry my uh, pepper spray and my Kubaton. But these are always on my keychain. So that starts when I'm leaving wherever I'm at. If I'm leaving the house, if I'm leaving the parking, if I'm leaving the mall, if I'm leaving wherever I'm at, I have my pepper spray and I have my Kubaton in my hand at all times. I have my head on the swivel, right? I'm looking all around to make sure that nobody is uh, thinking that I'm an easy target. And then once I get to my car, I immediately lock the doors, start my car, and then I'm ready to check my Facebook, check my text messages, check whatever I need to check. But these are all things that I do after I get in my car, start my car, and lock my car. Uh, also, um, I have my car staged. Um, so in the center console of my car, I have another stun gun. So I don't know when I'm going to be attacked. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I wanna make sure that all of my self-defense items are within reach, right? So this is our little ringer, keychain stun gun. You're gonna hold it like this. It has a flashlight and then you go ahead and just hit the button and I'm gonna be able to, if somebody tries to get me before uh, I get into my car, I have this readily available right here. Or if I'm sitting here and I forgot to lock my car, um, then I have this uh, at hand just in case I need it. Also attached to my little ringer, I have a whistle and I have another Kubaton. The Kubaton is actually my favorite, uh, my weapon of choice. I, I carry that wherever I go at all times. So if my bad guy catches me uh, with um, my guard down and he's able to get my stun gun from me, then you see that the stun gun does not work. I have my second line of defense right here. I have my Kubaton that is wrapped around my wrist on my um, disable pin. The stun guns all need the pen inserted in order for the stun gun to work. The stun gun is not, uh, does not have the pen inserted because it's attached to my Kubaton, which I am hopefully using on the perpetrator who has thought that I was the easy target. So not only do I have um, my stun gun and a Kubaton here, I also have a pepper spray right in my metal console right so i don't know what is going to be accessible to me so i have staged my car to be uh the the safest that i can be so i have a pepper spray and all i have to do is point and shoot of course in these close quarters if the bad guy is in my car um, and i pepper spray him i will get the effects of the pepper spray but it's, it's better than getting raped right so I would rather have the burning eyes, the not being able to breathe, the pain of the uh, Scoville heat units on my skin. Um, but I know that if I pepper spray my bad guy, that he's not going to do what he intended to do to me. So I do have to have the the knowledge that um, that, that will happen. Um, another example is that if you are in your, uh, if, you, if it's raining, and you're walking around with pepper spray, um, it's a good idea to layer your protection with a Kubaton as well because pepper spray does not, um, does not squirt out very well in the rain. So, um, I mean, it squirts out, but it's, gonna, it's not gonna hit your target. Um, so, as if the stun gun in my metal console, the Kubaton, the whistle, and the pepper spray is not enough, what if I am grocery shopping? What if I am putting my grandson in the back seat of the car? Um, what if I'm taking my dog's leash off who is in the back seat of the car or giving them water or whatever after a hike? Um, and I'm distracted, right? So I am in a parking lot or I'm um, somewhere out on a trail somewhere 
and somebody thinks like, hmm, she's all by herself. Yeah, she has that dog, but it's pretty friendly. Um, so I also keep a stun gun in the back passenger seat of my car. So if the bad guy thinks that I am going to be an easy target and I happen to be in the back seat of my car, I can let him know that's not happening. So this is kept in the back passenger um, seat pocket. So I can get to it easily, um, even if I'm driving or uh, if I do get pushed into my car from, while I'm in the back. Let's say I'm loading groceries in the back seat or, or any of the other scenarios that I gave you um, before. I have my self-defense items in the back as well. I have pepper spray all the way in the back of my car. Um, I also have a road trip. This is um, not for human attacks. This is for a her emergency. So say I'm driving and I get a flat tire. Um, I can put on my beacon and stick this to the top of my car uh, if it's at nighttime and let everyone know, hey, um, watch out. There's a road hazard here. Um, it also has an alarm. So say I do need help uh, that I have gone off into a ditch and um, I uh, I need to get attention, I can set off the alarm. It's a flashlight, um, it has a power saving mode, it has a strobe light, this is also um, a seatbelt cutter, and then this is a push punch glass breaker where I'm able to break the glass. So um, not only do I have it in the middle console of my car, what if I'm knocked unconscious? What if I'm not able to be the one to save the day, right? I have one in the back seat of the passenger car. For my daughter, for my grandson, for whoever could possibly be in my car, they know that I have stuff staged everywhere, that if there's an emergency, my family is trained that there is something somewhere around here that we can use and they just know that I'm prepared. They have the same item in the back seat back there and um, they, they know exactly how to use it. So, um, these are just some ideas. I, you know how my car is staged like this. I'd hate for you to see my house. Maybe one day I'll have to clean it and actually show you how staged my house is. So it's all about making yourself a hard target. It's all about making it so that you, you can come out of the situation alive. And um, I just uh, ask you to go to my website, check it out, calliestunner.com, C-A-L-I-S-T-U-N-N-E-R.com, and have a great day. Stay safe.